It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Hello and welcome back, where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. Before we get to the canvas, just have a quick look at the paints that we're going to be using today. There you go, we've got some cadmium yellow, some yellow ochre, we've got some Naples yellow, we've got some cerulean blue, Prussian blue, a little spot of ultramarine blue, some Mars black and some white. And these are the selection of brushes I'm going to be using today. I'm going to be using a one inch flat, a little blending brush, I've got a little angled brush there, I've got a script liner and I've got a sword brush. I'll explain those as we progress. If you haven't got any of these particular colours, especially the Naples yellow, I will talk my way through them um, as we progress and um, see if we can't make it easier for you. Um, I've got a little bit of my medium mix there. Um, these paints are my own maker paints, but any paints will do, absolutely any paints will do. I just make my own paints just for my own sake and um, I just thought I'd use them today. Okay, so we have got a 12 by 10 10 canvas. <laughs> we've got a 12 by 10 canvas there that we're going to be painting on. And what I thought we would do today is do something very simplistic. It's, it's a simple, effective way to actually show you depth and but create... Um, interest as well so some of these simple paintings are so 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 effective and you wouldn't believe it and they sell quite rapidly in fact um you don't have to please all the people all the time you just have to please some of the people some of the time and the most important person to actually please is yourself as long as you are happy with it then it doesn't really matter okay so let's just crack straight on to this painting then so I'm just going to put these couple of brushes in the water just to soak for a second. Um, I'm picking up um, the the one inch short flat. There you go. Um, I'm just looking at my canvas and I'm thinking we want to make this um, a quite a miserable day today um, because that's what it's like in Wales. It certainly is. It's quite miserable here today. The rain's found its way back to Wales unfortunately. So we're going to get a little bit of the Naples yellow. There we go, a little bit of Naples yellow. Um, I'm going to lighten that up with a bit more yellow. Naples yellow, a bit of cadmium yellow. I'm going to bring a little bit of black to that. There we go. bit of white. Let's have a look what that looks like. Yeah, that's okay. We can put that on there. So we're starting off at the top. This is going to be a very simple uh, exercise painting um, in perspective. We need to draw the eye in and using limited colors and using limited um, brushes and it's not all about, I just added a bit of white, it's not all about um, loads of things to catch the eye, it's not all about um, loads of detail and stuff like that, that's not what we're going for today, we're going for something really simple. There's an old saying, a kiss saying, especially in sales, is sometimes less is more, and it's called a kiss scenario. Kiss means keep it simple, stupid. Sometimes it's better to have very little going on than loads going on. And don't forget, the only, time, the only person you're trying to please is yourself in this particular type of painting. So we're getting that bit of warmth in the sky with the yellow. It's not looking that grey at the moment. Leave a little bit of that coming through there. Picking up a bit more of this now, the darker colour. I'm just bringing it down, bringing it down on an angle like this. There you go. Just 
layer building process. Now I've already gone and taken the liberty of putting um, a gesso onto this canvas and I'm asked so many times um, do you need to sand the gesso in between the coats and why do you put gesso on there? Well quite simply um, these canvases, a lot of these canvases and artist boards um, come pre-primed. It actually says they're just primed and it's okay for um, alkaline colour and acrylics. Um, but what they don't say that is if you don't put a gesso on there, then your acrylic paint doesn't flow as well. It really does not. Um, and I, I, I go over and over and over that. And, and I'm sure that there's a lot of people have listened to me over the years and going, oh, he's going on about that again. Well, it's important to, to keep going on about it because there's so many people out there that are subscribing to the channel now. And... I've not seen the older videos and things, or they haven't found them quite yet. And if you are one of those, um, and you, you just popped along for a quick look, then I encourage you to subscribe. There's a subscription button down there. And then when you do subscribe, if you go onto the main page, um, press a little bell. That little bell is going to give you notifications. Um, so every time I upload, which I do every Monday, and I've still got people saying, I haven't seen you upload any videos for a while, Clive, because you have not pressed that subscription button. This is what you're looking for. So don't forget www.youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Clive5Art and that's going to take you into the main channel page. I've just put a little bit of black and white together and just put in a bit of grey into this sky. This sky. And, and that's what you're looking for is that um, it's a little bell. There should be a little bell on the right hand side there somewhere. You need you need to press that, and that's going to give you notifications every time I upload a video. So don't miss out. Don't miss out. So I've just added a little bit of grey into the sky, like that. And I'm just lightly, 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 lightly blending. And if you've been lucky enough to pop along and um, pick up a blending brush from my store, uh, again, which is www.clive5art.co.uk, I sell a quite a lot of products in there, including some of my paints. You should see some blending brushes. This is a small blending brush. Um, I haven't got access to them at the moment, but you can pop along and purchase um, one of these brushes, which is uh, the one-inch version of this um, brush. You can just blend a little bit of that colour in like this. What we're going to do now is let that dry a touch. In fact, I think I'm just going to put the hairdryer on that. So that should be sufficiently dry um, for what we want to do. Now, there is our questions about paint lift and one thing or another. And you can also, hopefully, you should see a little bit of canvas coming through there. Because I haven't put the paint on a l very, very thick at all. So what I'm going to do now is go back into this mix I made of um, cadmium yellow um, a little bit of Naples yellow actually I use yellow ochre there a little bit of Naples yellow there we are and some white let's get some Naples yellow into that you can thin the paint down reasonably well um, with my medium mix just be a little bit careful if you haven't got any of that and you're just using water because you don't want to thin your paint more than 40% because it can underbind so I'm just going to go lightly over lightly over the sky what we're going to be doing here is painting some sort of a riverbed now I done a riverbed a couple of weeks ago and that's in the eye cards if you want to go and check that out where we um, did a painting of um, things under the water and again, that was quite a, a, a nice, easy um, lesson for you to get the grips with. You could turn these paintings into some lovely, lovely um, works of art for yourselves. If you want to, please feel free to do whatever you need to do to them. They are paintings at the end of the day. I'm just showing you an idea. You can see that looks like a quite a murky, dirty looking sky. Because we're going to be putting some rain and things in you shortly I'll show you how to make that look as if it's raining but for the moment it's looking quite nice it's looking 
like some wedding wheels. <laughs> so, yeah, feel free. See, feel free to do whatever you need to do, um, do to this. Uh, I encourage you to do that anyway, because you, you don't learn unless you, unless you experiment and play. Remember when we were children, we didn't even care, did we? We just played and did whatever we wanted to do. And it didn't really matter what other people thought about us or what our things looked like. We just did. We went on skateboards and roller skates and played in the woods. And if you were lucky enough to be near the woods. And then we just had fun. We didn't mind. We just whiled away the hours of the day and enjoying ourselves which is the kids don't do so much these days because they got playstations and things but yeah there we are that's the that's the way that's progress i suppose there we are you can see there's something going on there now so what i'm going to do is try and build up um, i'm still using this one in short breath uh, flat so I, I want to make some green. Now, this is why I've got all these different blues and yellows there, really. So I want to try and make a light green. Let's just put a bit of blue. Let's just use yellow. That's a lovely color green. There's a lovely green there. So we lighten that up. Just adding a bit of white is going to lighten the color and change its look we're adding a bit more yellow to it now oh that's nice let's get a bit of um let's put a bit of naples yellow to that and just look let's just let's just look maybe maybe that's just a bit too bright we need to we need to dirty that off a touch Let's get a bit of black to it. We don't want it too bright. So adding black is just going to change that tone. And a bit more white to it. We want it bright, but not too bright. That's what we're looking for. It's a kind of nice green that is with the ceridian blue, isn't it? I quite like that. Let's see what we got now. There we go. And just tap in. Just tap in. I'm just going to get the shape first that I'm looking for. I'm just bringing myself a, a line to work from. There we go. There we go. Let's get a little bit of yellow to it. Just a touch. Still using the same brush. Tell you what we could do. Tell you what we could do. We can add a bit of yellow ochre and a bit of black. Yellow ochre and black. My yellow ochre has gone quite thick, actually. There's lumpy bits in it. Ew. Don't want that, do we? Bit of Prussian blue. I want a dark colour. There we are. Like a brown colour. It's quite browny. That's what we want. That's what we want. So we just put a few. Let's put a few things in like this. Just using the edge of the brush. She's using the getting the chisel edge. Getting the chisel edge to the brush. And then we go and just put in little lines in. Don't forget, just simple yet effective lines. This is about learning to be loose, a little bit of control, and just to just let your artistic license flow. It's not about detail as such. 
It's also about drawing the eye in as well, don't forget. We want it a little bit darker down there. A bit darker down there, a bit darker, 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 darker. Let's get a little bit more Prussian blue. Just increasing that colour. As we come in towards ourselves, we're getting a little bit darker. It's just trying to create that depth that we want. Don't worry about being perfectly um, reed-like. These are reeds, by the way. Blot it in like that. Let's get a little bit of ultramarine blue just on the tip of the brush. Let's just put a, a little bit of blue in there, just knock it in like this. That's just going to cool a section off. If we can cool that down a touch. I'm going to be putting more on top of that in a minute. Now we need that colour again. Just little lines like this. make a little shape think about you know how these things actually form and just use the edge of the brush we're only using one brush at the moment and it's quite effective just keep doing that bit of moisture because the paint is just getting a little bit sticky sharper lines oh I'm using my look how I'm using my brush very delicately I'm not I'm only holding it between those two fingers really and just allowing it to balance on my thumb that way I'm not I'm not doing this I'm making big big marks I'm just you're allowing the brush just to touch and allowing the brush just to touch the, the canvas like that and letting the canvas take off what it wants so I'm not actually pushing now I am you can see the difference and then I'm taking the pressure off and we need to darken that up a bit more a bit more Prussian blue get that colour in Notice I'm not using a lot of paint, there's no need to. Getting a nice dark colour, a blue green. Like this. And hopefully, hopefully we can start to curve this around a little bit now. So this, this, there's your vanishing point there. So there's the bank of the river which we're going to be working on in a second. I'm not too worried about the sky, that's going to be looking like as if it's going to be raining shortly. Again. I'm just going to build this up. I can block this out now, like this. A bit more Prussian blue. A little bit of black. I'm just going to flick in some lines like this. How easy is that? Simple yet effective. 
wash that brush dry this off with a hairdryer very important that's how we can progress quite quick, quickly with these paintings if we've got a hairdryer and not only that if you're going out in the rain like i do sometimes you can dry your hair as you come in <laughs> that should be dry um i always test with the back of my finger because i don't want to put my fingerprint on it and i don't want to put grease on it and i've been asked about the, the air dryer um how often uh, how long should you actually dry it well you dry it until it's dry basically and let it cool down for a couple of seconds because that's going to be warm and it's going to dry your paint out and um i normally stay about 12 to 18 inches away but because i'm filming i go a bit closer um but i don't recommend you do that because you can force dry it too much sometimes but um, that's just what i do anyway okay now we're gonna pick up our um little tiny short flat this is a half inch um i'm going to go into this lighter mix again like this again using the brush on the side i'm going to get a bit of kitchen roll just taking a just taking a little bit off my brush and I, i've got to think about this 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 reed bed now so i i need to put a little line in like that and we also need to put a few reflections in so i'm just going to lightly drag down some lines like that darken that up in a second yeah we don't need to do anything too much here maybe just bring that out a touch like that so where's this dark colour? Again, just picking it up on the brush. Just lightly. Jogging through like that. A couple of little shadow colors now in like that so i haven't washed the brush and it's quite a dirty painter in fact i'm picking up some of this lighter color we mix for the sky and now i'm just gonna put a few little marks i guess Just like as if there's a little bit of shadow being cast onto that water. Over the lines. So you put in vertical and horizontal lines there and then you put you put in these diagonal lines and vertical lines and now you're going to put some horizontal lines over and all that does is it gives you that illusion that there's reflections and shadows into this water i hope you can see what i'm doing i'm going to get a little bit more white into this mix now still have not um i've still not washed my brush i don't see the need sometimes for using the same type of tones of paint so i'm just going to lighten up it's quite the opposite now. I'm putting light on top of dark, where I was putting dark on top of light. I don't know if you've noticed what I'm doing there. I'm getting the smallest amount of um, Naples yellow and a bit of white. I like Naples yellow and white. If you haven't got any Naples yellow, um, what I suggest you do, let me just pick up another brush and show you. Um, if you've got some white, just get some white. Obviously, you need to make bigger quantities of this. I'm just showing you as an example. Get some cardinal yellow. And then some yellow ochre. And then just play around with that little mix. And eventually, you're going to get something that's quite similar 
bit more yellow ochre. My yellow ochre's got, got quite thick, in fact, I'll have to buy some new. And then just play around. And then you should have something very similar to Naples yellow. There we are. So start off with some white. Um, use a little bit of cardamom yellow just to just to get that warmth then, and then a bit of um, yellow ochre just to give you that tone. And then you're going to get something close to that. Uh, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Nobody's going to pull you up about it and say that is not Naples yellow. That is not. That's not the colour it, it should look like. And there's always one of them. Trust me. You're not a qualified artist. You're soft salt. <laughs> You've got no right being in this art group. <laughs> and I, that's been said to me a few times too. What do you know about painting? I studied for years. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter whether you go to college or whether you teach yourself. At the end of the day, all that counts is the finished painting and the result is that's what it's all about and as long as you are happy with it don't let others put you down and tell you you can't do something the worst thing you can do is say to yourself I can't I can't I won't I can't I can't I can't do it I can't do it this is not working for me I can't do it I never say that I can I will positive affirmations is 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 the key especially with something like painting because if um, Van Gogh or Toulouse Lautrec or S John Sargent all said I can't I can't then they wouldn't be able to would they and we'd be we'd be at the worst for it because we wouldn't have all those wonderful masterpieces to look at so don't let anybody put you down and in my experience there's um Thanks, my and in my experience, there's a lot of people out there just jealous of you and what you can accomplish. So there we go. Just do what I do and say, look, I paint for myself. I don't paint to please others. If people want to listen to me and follow my lessons, then I respect them for that and I'm thankful for that. But don't want to watch then don't watch <laughs> there's an off button yes why you worry I don't worry if we worried about everything we'd be stressed and then if we stress then we get panicky and if we panicky then we have attacks and that's not that's not a good thing is it so I'm mixing up a, a couple of different greens I think that's a little bit light actually I want to get a couple of reads very very fine lines like this and this is a script lining brush um, using my medium mix because I know the paint one and the bind so I'm just lifting up some some reads like this wonderful way to paint away the stress of everyday life especially on a rainy day like it can be in Wales and we're going to be putting some rain into this scene quite shortly so just playing around with a couple of different greens being loose this is good practice for you actually this is good practice for you let's get some of that colour because in all green Oh, there's some dark ones in there as well because they're going to be picking up shadow. They're going to be picking up shadow. Don't be, don't be too precise. Just be loose. Loose and free. Free and loose. There you go. Like that. Use a couple of different colours. Use a couple of different colours. You can put a few little... Reflections in the water, and we can paint a bit more over them in a second, like we did earlier. You could see it starting to come together. There you go. 
Isn't that good? Isn't that nice? Very simple process, in fact. I'm washing that brush and just putting that one side. Um, I'm now I'm picking up the angled short flat. There we go. That's a slightly bigger uh, brush, uh, and it's got an angle on it. And I like these angled ones because they allow you to play. I'm going to put some ultramarine blue in here now, and some white, and some yellow. Now we'll try. We'll try. Here we go. I'm using it like that and the angle going upwards not downwards you can do it that way but I find that they, they can get a bit they can be a bit chunkier like that look see so you want to get a, a few chunkier ones in which is not always a bad thing and you can put them like that always take the excess off or you can use it upwards and you get a thinner line like that There's a few um, riverbeds like this around where I live. And I've fished a few. You can see that, so hopefully you can see. If I've done my job right, you shouldn't see that starting to drift away. Into the background there. Just a couple of different colours. Like this. These are going to be quite thick and not so thin there. Let's get some darker ones in by here now. Put some thinner ones in in a second. These are geez, these are the base ones. These these ones are these ones that are all the plant up, whatever these plants are. These olden plants up. These ones, they they mummy and daddy plants. <laughs> there you go, mummy and daddy plants. There we go. Or you can go to town. You could go to town on these. You really could. Let's look. This is a bit of um, Naples yellow that we mixed up. Look. So we just add a little bit of that to that darker colour, touch of white to it. And let's just put a few ones in like this. I like that dark spot there. Look, we've created a nice little dark area. That's where the little um, kingfishers go. He's got a nest in there and he flies in there. He's done his fishing on the river. He flies in there to feed his babies. There we are. We'll put a few thinner ones in there in a second. There we go. There we go. Just a few light ones. Just be loose. Be free. It's a nice exercise to do. You can do this if you've never painted before. You can do this. This is a, a wonderful way to, to learn to paint. And there's nothing to think about except lines and I'll make a diff oh I made a mistake no I didn't because that leaf could have broken off there you go <laughs> it could be a broken leaf so don't worry no need to fret about these things you can't make a mistake by just painting lines like that there we go so we've created a lovely a lovely effect so far so again I'm just going to dry that off very quickly with a hairdryer so let's go and get our Let's get our script lining brush again. Where did I put my script lining brush? There's my script lining brush. There we are. I'm going to get a bit of black. A little bit of black. Like ink. Prussian blue. Prussian blue and Mars black make um, a Payne's grey. Let me show you. If I add a bit of white to that, you'll see it turns into a lovely blue blue grey so a Mars black and Prussian blue can make you a Payne's grey so why buy it 
there we go why buy planes grey no need to make your own save yourself some money save yourself some money so you can make yourself a Naples yellow and you've learned to make some paints grey today so there we are there's two paints you don't have to buy anymore and those paints are about five or six pound a tube so i've saved you 12 pounds today and i haven't left the studio <laughs> okay so let's put a couple of reeds or twigs like that another one there coming out up there like this watch what i'm doing as this is a very thin pointy brush so as, as i as i put it onto the canvas i'm pushing the edge a little bit just display the tips and as i'm coming up i'm taking the pressure off and leaving a very thin line this will take you time to practice don't be despondent and think that oh, i can't do it i can't do it yes you can you can do anything if you put your mind to it you want to earn more money you want to have more life and joy in 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 anything you do then just believe you can that's all it is belief is a wonderful thing religions are built on belief don't forget that if we can believe in something we can't see and we've never seen and we don't know if it exists or not depending on your belief then and it can still impact itself into our lives then belief is a good thing so believe in yourself believe i can i will i can achieve i can paint and i can watch clive's youtube lessons every monday at half past seven and pop along to his shop <laughs> There's a few twigs. That's just going to give it a little bit of depth there. Now we're going to put a few more uh, leafy things in in a minute. So I just wanted to put a few twigs and bits and pieces in. Um, we could add a little bit of white to that just to make it a bit more grey. And we can just put a, just a few little bits of, I don't know. Whatever they are, they work. Just gives a little bit of realism. Yeah. It's not just reeds in there. There's little bits of twigs and and things as well. There we are. Here we go again with the air dryer. Otherwise, I'd never get these paintings finished. Now, what I want to do is put some rain in there. And um, I want to introduce you to, if I haven't already done so in previous lessons, and if you want to check out the iCards, please check out the iCards. I'm going to put in there um, lessons that I've done from all of 2016 and all of 2017. So click them there. That's you, all the lessons I've done in those two years. So you shouldn't miss out. <laughs> Galleria. Galleria. Mixing white. Very important tool in your arsenal. Mixing white is very, very transparent. Mixing white can be your best friend ever. It really can. You can use it for glazes. You can use it for misting things back. Um, I'm just going to put a bit by there. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. Here. Yeah. I'm going to use this um, as an example. Where did I put my brush? Where did I put my brush? It is such a funny one. I'm very fond of that. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Oh, I had a mixed up childhood. I really did. I wasn't, I was, oops, that's dirty. I was not understood at all. When I was a child, I was not. No. There we go. Being autistic, well, slightly autistic, I would say. I was diagnosed with a little bit of autism and um, I'm dyslexic. Just in case you didn't know. Yes. Doesn't let me, doesn't put me down, never have. Um, just makes me grateful for all the other things that it brings. Um, okay, so very, very um, skilled in creativity. I'm good with my hands and, and stuff. There we go. <laughs> Shut up, Clive. You're, you're waffling again. 
a waffle, waffle, waffle. So I'm just putting a little bit of of that. This is called a glaze. There we are. I'm just putting a bit of glaze over there like that. Just to kill the brightness. I'm putting a little bit of wash of zinc mixing white. Now you could use titanium white but it is very very opaque and you would you would find that you would kill more than you really need to. Um, I'd be very careful using titanium white like this. Zinc mixing white. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, frog in my throat. Ribbit, ribbit. There he is, but there look. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> same brush, same brush. I'm going to add a little bit of grey to my zinc mixing white. There we go, a bit of water. It's a little bit thicker. It's a little bit thicker than a wash. It's got a consistency of semi skim milk. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you find that funny when people say that? How, how thick is it? Well, it's like cream cheese. Or it's a consistency of skim milk. <laughs> What's the consistency of skim milk? I don't know. I'm not a cow. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's put a little bit of... That's not bright enough. We need a bit brighter than that. We need it more like cream cheese. There we go. That's, uh, too much, too much, too much black. And we'll try. Just a couple of little lines of that. Isn't that fun? I'm hoping you can see. Can you see? I hope you can. I hope you can see there's a few like you get that look of sometimes when it's really heavy rain you're going to get that um thickness you could see you could see the rain coming down that's what i'm trying to say yeah you can thickness i don't know right let's put a bit of we need a bit, a bit of shadow a little bit more black i want to darken this area up like this Because what that's going to do, a little bit of dark in the foreground, and that's going to make you look through maybe a little bit, a little bit more, a bit of green. Oops, not too much. A bit of green in there like that. Because there's going to be a lot of shadow in that water. Like this. And it's just going to pull that eye back. Putting a brush back in the water, picking up my script lining brush, I think. I think I'm going to go into some of this lighter, lighter, lighter grain. And now we're going to put some little lines like this. Just little lines like that. And you can play to your heart's content, really. There we are. Shows you how rough I am. You can be rough if you want to. I have not used this sword brush as yet. So this is a sword brush. Um, this is this is bought of um, uh, the SAA, which is a society of uh, acrylic, uh, of all artists. I think it's all artists or acrylic artists. I don't know. It's a, uh, the SAA anyway, Society of Artists. Um, years and years and years, that as, as a Christmas present, or is it a birthday present, I don't know, my mind goes, um, but you can buy them, um, you don't have to have one of these, you can just use an angled short flat, like I said, just get a bigger angled short flat, or, you know, chop down a, a normal brush, um, I'm going to get some yellow ochre, I'm going to get some Naples yellow, I'm going to get some 
Um, ultramarine blue. I'm going to get some white. Does that look green? Not really, but it's okay. I'll do for the minute. And we're going to put some of these. So it does the same job as the as the angle flat, really. Actually, the angle flat may be a bit better. Let's try. Let's see. Let's compare the two. Because there's no point having an angled flat if we don't compare the two. So let's add a little bit more yellow. I want this a bit green. I'm going to put some cerulean blue. Cerulean blue tends to be a bit on the green side in any case. Um, ultramarine blue is more on the red side. Uh, but this particular one. Um, it's, it, it borders more towards the um, purple uh, on that particular one. M Prussian blue is... Um, is a very very dark black blue um, that's just some actually I'll do a video on different blues I think and what I use in seascapes there we are that could be the next one I could do for you we'll talk about Prussian blues and ultramarine blues and cerulean blues and and all that I'll do that in the lesson it'd be easier I'm trying to explain you yeah. there we are put a couple of nice leaf shapes I think I'm going to call this one then. Yeah, I'll do. Here's a nice little lesson for you to give it a try. Um, see what you come up with and let me know how you get on with that. Um, very simple perspective, draws the eye in, very simple play around with greens, play around with strip liners and things like that. Please click the subscription button, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Keep an eye out on the community tab if you have subscribed, because I will put posts on there, tell you about up and coming lessons, and um, ask you questions. So all you've got to do is um, reply to me, and you will help me by answering those questions to provide you with lessons that you want. This is where this one come from. And don't forget... Um, I will be doing a lesson on blues for, to help you with your seascapes next. So thank you very much for joining me in the studio. I'm painting away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. And don't forget to click the notifications button. And I will see you next time. Bye.